Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to protect your Angular route from unauthorized access. So follow me in the next steps and you'll be able to do the same. Okay, here uh, I have a basic Angular structure here created by Angular CLI. So there's nothing except this uh, app routing modules that I uh, actually picked up from the CLI installation. Uh, so as you can see here, this is uh, this is a default uh, and now I'm going to create uh, two components here in the components uh, folder so I have created this also these two folders just to say which are empty for now and now here with the uh, angular schematics I have explained it and showed in the past lectures uh, I'm going to create a component here in components and call it component one Okay, and now I'm going to create another one, component 2, it's the default component, and okay, we have two components now here in the components folder, it's component 1 and component 2. And now I'm uh, going to the uh, routes here, routing, and I'm going to add these routes here. So I'll say in this uh, array, I'm going to add an object and say, okay, path as component one and the component is component, component one component. Okay, this is the first component and the second component would be component two. So I'll just duplicate this, say OK, OK, component 2, just let me call it, OK. So we have imported uh, component 1 and component 2, and here in the app component, we have a router outlet already. I'll add uh, something to show us that we have these things here. So I'll say OK, H1. Uh, website okay and the links below I'd say okay component one and call it component one and now the second one component two component two component two okay now we have a uh, uh, links were to the component one and component two on our website. So here uh, we can see on our local host for 1200 uh, the website and component one and component two. So when we click these things, actually links, uh, we have component one and component two switching. So this is basically Angular routing. And now we have to implement uh, protection here on this, let's say, component one, that if somebody is not authorized, cannot access this component one here. So how to do that? Follow me in the next steps. Here in the core module, I'll create a, actually I'll add a folder, new folder and call it guards. Okay. In that guards, I'll generate another Angular schematics uh, with this Angular schematics. And I'll say uh, we are creating guard and I'll name it alt guard. Okay, okay, and we'll implement, we can activate in this case. Okay, that's it. Now we'll have a generated uh, alt guard here. And let's take a look. What is this outguard? Uh, outguard is actually a class uh, which, in this case, implements can activate. And uh, this is basically just returning a boolean. So it is it is just uh, returning true or false, uh, which is a result of our cases here. So. I'm not going uh, to details here. So, uh, how how are how do you 
how are you actually going to uh, know if somebody is uh, authorized or not but here what can you do is basically uh, get uh, JVT token decode it and get it and check it from local storage or etc etc to see if somebody is uh, logged in or not and on that case uh, if somebody is logged in for example if someone in so if somebody is logged in return true otherwise false so our rules are going here and returning uh, and in the end true or false okay this is it with the outguard we'll save it and now we have to go to our app routing module here uh, what do we have here we have a components in the routes but the following thing has to be added so i'll say can activate as we have that can activate in our uh, outguard also and this is just uh, object key with uh, which is uh, uh, default for uh, routes in angular so you can uh, access it, this method uh, just you just have to call it can activate and now it receives array and you can say here uh, out outguard so this basically means that uh, this says okay uh, who can activate this component here and we say okay this component can be activated only by authorized uh, users but uh, I've called this outguard you can call it whatever you want but the the the, uh, the main concept is here that this one here has to return true or false or to allow or den deny the access so we said okay outguard is going to handle this and return true or false okay this is it for the component one we'll uh, leave the component to as is now save switch to our browser and we can see here that we can still activate both components here and why is that happening because our outguard here is returning true which means that somebody is logged in and now we are going to return false here okay and here you can see that there is nothing here be, uh, below the component one and if you are looking at the url here we are trying to get the component but we cannot and component two is actually available so if we want to implement the same thing here we would just add here can activate to this component or any other components uh, that have to be protected from unauthorized access so now basically we are not able to access any of these routes but if it says that the uh, user is authorized we will get the components here so that is basically it so it's not something uh, which is really weird or, or hard to achieve and to create but this is just basically it in the next sections i'm going to explain you uh, and cover a uh, role by role based authorization here also and uh, can deactivate or can load and unload or and other other uh, things here you know, which you can use in this routing instead of just of can activate so that is basically it thank you for watching and i hope this video helped you create something new and something cool thank you